Welcome back. We are here with part 34 of Cordelia's reign and I'm pretty sure it's part 34 because one of these days I'm just going to say a part so confidently and it's not going to be that part, but you're just going to have to, you know, forgive me and we'll move on. So anyway, it is currently Cordelia and Killian's birthday. They have their birthday on the same day this go around. So it is good because Eliza's pregnant and we really need to move some people out of this house. So we'll get Killian moved out. And we will have Cordelia's wedding to Chaz as well in this one. Very excited about that. Those two are finally going to get together. <laughs> Eliza is being overdramatic about something. Not really sure what it is, but you know. So moving on. Also, I wanted to have her make Girl Scout cookies because I have never done that before in this game. And I thought that it would be fun. It's really cute looking. So... Let's do that. And then we will have Cordelia blow out the candles and then Killian blow out the candles. It'll be good. Let's move the cookies out here. Everyone can enjoy the cookies. And yeah, we have everyone coming over. We have quite a few pregnant Sims. As you can see, Regina is pregnant. Uh, little Cordelia is pregnant. Who else? There's, I think there's one more person that's, I think Ashlyn is pregnant, but I don't see her right there. Anyway, uh, we do have to go outside to age up, as you know. So, looks like Eliza and, and uh, Regina's second children will be about the same age as well as their first children, so that's really great. And look, here is our Queen Cordelia as an elder. We are going to give her a quick makeover, so I'm excited about that. I do want... Um, I'm not going to change all her outfits. I'm just going to change a couple of them. So, here's a little peek. Look at her and her beautiful red dress and her new hairstyle. She has grown her hair out a little bit more than it was before. So that's her. And honestly, I forgot that it was also Killian's birthday at first here. So that's my bad. We'll have to give them a makeover uh, a little bit later. So let's send Killian to go blow out the candles outside. You can do it. And then I think Adora's birthday isn't for like two or three more sim weeks. So we have some time in between for the next child. And here we go, blowing out the candles and becoming a young adult. And Killian got the vegetarian trait, I think. And what we're going to do is invite over Blaze because Blaze is already a young adult. So those two can get engaged now. So let's do that. I don't know why, why Blaze didn't show up with the rest of the people from the club. But anyway, um, we have Killian also joining the culinary career. So here's kind of what's going on. I'll explain while we bring Blaze over and then try to romance him a bit because for some reason their romance has gone down a lot. Don't know what's going on with that. So we're going to have to get this going. But basically... The last three children here, Killian, Adora, and Apollo, they don't have anyone to marry that's inheriting a title. So the way that I'm dealing with that is I'm having Cordelia give all of them titles when they become young adults. So Killian is going to be given a title and some land, so a plot um, in the world, and then they are going to move there and start their own family. Now, this is going to include a new last name because obviously the royal family is a phoenix family and all of the duchies are named after mythical creatures so I figured maybe the the um, marches will be named after like animals still but not mythical animals like real animals so that's what we're going to do and we are going to have Killian become see I don't know what the gender neutral form of marquee is but I'm thinking like marquee but without an s and we'll put an x there that's what we're gonna go with so um mark x killian I, I don't know i don't know how to pronounce what i'm trying to make either um we are going to have these two get engaged so that we can move them out and um we're not going to get them married in this one we'll have them get married in the next one and also I have nowhere to put them like I didn't build them a house yet so probably my next video is going to be building them a house on their new land so they'll get a house and we will probably get them married in the one after that since I've got nowhere to put them I don't have anywhere to put 
Adora or Apollo either, but that's a later us problem. So what was I trying to do? I tried to get them to get out of the bathroom because I didn't want to take proposal pictures inside the bathroom. So we're proposing in the hallway and Blaze said yes. So now we are going to go give them their land like we just talked about. So let's head here and we'll move them up into the area with the art gallery in the upper left hand corner there. And um, we are going to give each of them what they would get in taxes. So for example, uh, the royal family gives 100,000 and then Blaze will move in and take 50,000. So that's going to give them 150,000 simoleons to work with. So I think that that'll be plenty to build them a house. And what else? Um, yes, so actually we are going to have them become, so this is going to be the Raven March. So Raven is going to be the animal that they're named after. The color is going to be black because I'm trying to also, um, here's Killian's makeover by the way, but I'm also trying to get the colors to match the animals. So that's what we're doing there. So it's black, Raven, and they're going to be culinary. So the duchies are going to be responsible for like broader like areas. So like the Periton duchy is responsible for all the butler things like cooking, gardening, all that stuff. But then each smaller noble house is going to be responsible for like just one thing instead of a broad array of things. So the Raven March is going to be in charge of cooking. And that's why Killian is now a chef. So that's what we're going with. I don't know if all of that explanation made sense, but we are very excited to have our first March and our first family. Blaze will also become a marquee after marrying Killian. And just checking on Eliza's pregnancy, we will definitely be having the baby in this one as well, which is good that we just moved Killian out because we wouldn't have enough room to move Chaz in. We do need Chaz. Um, so actually, I think that means we are going to go back to an eight sim household for a little bit, right? One, two. Oh yeah, I just moved Chaz in. Um, well, we moved Killian out. That was a double thing that happened when when I was not recording. So anyway, um, yeah, it looks like we're going to have an eight some household when the baby's born. But Adora will be moving out um, in a couple of sim weeks. So that'll be good. And I'm not going to have Eliza have more than three kids. So that'll be good. Once we get everyone else moved out, let me see. So we'll have Cordelia, Chaz, Eliza, Simon... And then three kids, that makes seven. So I just, when you get to eight, it makes the pictures really tiny and it makes it hard to click on like the home button when you're not home and stuff. So I think that it's better to have seven. And now we are going to have the wedding. So let's do that. Also, you know, the elders are getting old and we're just, I, th I think we still have like 40 ish sim days for all of them what I think I'm going to end up doing and I know that this is kind of morbid to be like let's go to Cordelia's wedding but let's also talk about when she dies um so we are going to probably go around to each household and kill off the elders just so that I can make sure that I get their gravestones I don't want to worry too much about that so we'll probably go around and you know have them die of old age so we'll we're going to let Cordelia and Chaz die naturally, of course, because we're in their household. But for everyone else, I'm worried about not catching them. So we are going to make sure that we do do that. Although, like I said, we still have like 40 plus sim days for all of that to happen. So here we are. They are married. For once, a wedding goes well. And it says that they got married. Everyone sat down. It's very nice. I didn't invite over the club just because it's a lot of sims to deal with. And I don't really feel like dealing with it. So these two are just going to come and sit down. The caterer also didn't show up to make a cake. So I'm trying to get you to sit down so I can get a picture of you with your new wife. So that's really, really exciting for them. Because these two, these two have been in love forever. They've been in love for so long and they were together and then they weren't able to be together because she, you know, had to marry Xander and then they had their affair and they had Regina and Mikal, but then they had to hide it. And then it was just so much conflict that Cordelia just decided that she couldn't 
you know, continue that. And so these two broke up for quite some time. And then, you know, he had to get a divorce because they were blackmailed by Carmen. And so just a lot of stuff happened with them. And then, you know, Xander died of old age. Seemed premature, but anyway. Also, look at Carmen. Carmen is wearing a white dress to Cordelia and Chaz's wedding. And I feel like, I mean, that was obviously an accident on my part, but I totally feel like that's something that she would do because she does not like them very much. And she's, anyway. So, um, yeah, so they they finally get to be together now after all this time. So I think that it's really sweet. It's really nice. I'm really happy for them to finally be able to be together. And I like that Cordelia got to be with both guys in the end. Just, um you know, to make sure that, that she can, you know, find all of her happiness and whether or not any of my Sims deserve it is another story. You don't come to this channel to have your Sims be good people, but, um, yeah, I just, I'm happy that they finally got to be together and I think that they are going to be happy for the rest of their old age and it'll be great. So honestly, that's kind of the the last major event I have planned for Cordelia. That's not to say that more things couldn't happen, but that's really all I've got for her. And she's just going to enjoy her elder years now. And I think that that's going to be really good for her. So we are going to head home. Tomorrow is Remembrance Day. So we will be headed to the graveyard shortly. But first we're going to spend the night at home. So we are just loading screen away. It takes forever for this castle to load. Honestly, like I did have a plan to renovate the castle, maybe make it a little bit different, but I don't really have a place for that right now. Um, I think that I will save that for after we build the three marches that we need to build for our kids because I don't want it to be like, you know, I don't want to renovate an existing building when Killian and Blaze are living <laughs> on a patch of grass without a roof over their heads so we will handle that first and then we'll probably renovate the castle I'll probably say like maybe like once a generation we'll renovate the castle I don't know is that like a thing you know the new monarch is kind of taking over more and more so like what I'm going to have Eliza do right here she already got to level 10 of the writing career so she's going to join the politician career now and um, I think that that's because her mother has become an elder and she needs to start taking a more active role in the monarchy so that is really important and she's not happy about it because she somehow became a workaholic like I'm trying to have this girl be more relaxed and she just can't do it she it's not her personality <laughs> I'm trying to get her to like meditate and like do wellness stuff and just de-stress and not have to work hard on anything and yet she makes herself a workaholic <laughs> anyway um yes we are going to skip ahead here to remembrance day overnight i took some pictures and we are going to bring the pictures to the graveyard so when everyone becomes a young adult they get a picture that goes in the art gallery and a picture that goes in the graveyard so we are going to have those available um, you know to put their urns in front of as well so here we go to the graveyard we are going to of course complete remembrance day first and yeah I'm, I'm really excited i mean generation three is starting to be born generation two is really you know taking charge i'm a little nervous about generation one starting to die off but hopefully we can um you know be okay and here we go we are going to mourn all of the graves that we have here because I want to keep their spirits around. So here we go all the way up guys. Very nice. You can see there's Xander's grave and then Matilda's is over on the left and then Bob's was in that mausoleum. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at what paintings I not paintings pictures I have. So we're going to go to the left I think. So we're going to have um the main so like the the main person who inherits will get a bigger picture and then the smaller picture will be their spouse i'm going to separate them by like columns um i've done that over in perryton i was like practicing i was seeing how many things i could fit in one place just kind of finagling here so 
Um, we are going to bring Eliza's picture up there. And as for the marches, because we only have mausoleums for the duchies, I'm going to have this, I'm going to fence this off in just a second, and we'll have this section be the area for the marches, and then maybe on the other side, the, like, earldoms, and then we'll put the Viscounties somewhere. So here are the pictures of these people. We do not have pictures for people who have not become young adults yet, so we don't have pictures for Adora or Apollo yet. You can see right there with the columns what I'm trying to do here. And I'm just going to um, skip ahead here. So here I've fenced this off and I'm just going to add in some terrain paint. So you can see I've added in um, those like platform, whatever they are, um, to put the urns on and then I'll just put their pictures in front of it for those who don't have a mausoleum. So there's no wall to put the picture on. And you can see the spouse ones are little and the you know, title inheritor ones are big. You can see over here what I've done here. And I did that all the way around to all of the mausoleums. And here's Eliza and Simon over here. Very nice. I'm just making sure that they can get by those. And also I'm going to take away her workaholic trait because it's annoying me. So that's where we're at. And I think that everything looks pretty good. You know, as we go along, we'll be filling this place up, so it's very exciting. And everyone is going to head home now, and then once we head home, we will be having the baby. So I'm really excited about our second baby. Here we go. Poor Eliza. She, like, hasn't been able to do anything because she's pregnant. So, yeah, we'll probably wait. I mean, we have eight Sims in our household, so we have to wait anyway. We'll have to wait at least until Adora moves out to have another baby so that would be like I said two or three sim weeks so the third baby is going to be a little bit younger than the other two and here we go she's having a really long labor and it is not enjoyable so we have another boy so this boy's name is going to be Seth and he is our second baby we don't know yet whether or not he has inherited purple eyes but I hope so so that we have an heir ready to go but um yeah so Look at that, Simon and um, and Leto, it's so cute. So I think that everything went really well here. We had Cordelia's birthday, we had Killian's birthday, we had Killian's uh, get engaged, we had Cordelia and Chaz's wedding, we had Remembrance Day, and we had baby Seth. Baby Prince Seth could be the crown prince, we don't know yet. I hope so, I really hope so, because I don't want there to be too much of a gap in between generations either so we'll have to see how that goes and I'm going to have to start coming up with some storylines for generation three very exciting I mean not the generation two stuff is over it is far from let me tell you I have plenty planned so I hope that you're looking forward to that because I am and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one